The Federal Railroad Administration is inspecting quiet zones around the country. Those are areas where trains are not supposed to sound their horns. But they found that rules are being broken at two crossings in Chelsea and Waltham, and neighbors are not happy about it. Brianna's back with this story. Brianna? Liam and Kate, we visited the Warrendale neighborhood of Waltham, where the tracks are in people's backyards, and they tell us they're used to the noise of the train passing by, but they say this new noise they cannot live with. It's driving me insane. Nikki Franchi has lived in Waltham for 13 years. Her home is located between the Moody and Beaver Street crossings, and she's gotten pretty accustomed to the train tracks in her backyard. So that's what I'm, that's what you're used to. That's what I decided to live with. But Nikki says she never agreed to live with this. A train horn blasting every 30 to 40 minutes throughout the day, even at 2.30 in the morning, captured here on Nikki's cell phone. I kept thinking, like, I don't see anybody. I don't see anything on the tracks. Why are they sounding the horn? And then I started to make the connection. Women, every it's, it's coming. They're sounding the horn every time the train comes now. The horn is a result of a recent crackdown by the Federal Railroad Administration. The FRA found the cities of Chelsea and Waltham lack the safety measures required to keep their quiet zone status. A spokesperson told us a letter was sent to the city of Waltham in 2008 stating that the quiet zone was not in compliance. The Federal Railroad Administration says this train horn can hit 110 decibels. The CDC says that's the equivalent of being at a rock concert. Yeah, I don't want to be in a rock concert every 40 minutes, 35 minutes. So my neighbor next door actually called the police the other night um, at 2 a.m. She was so frustrated. Um, and the police said, you're not our first call. She called the city the next morning, but she kind of got a runaround answer. The FRA says once the cities make the necessary safety improvements at crossings, the horns can stop. I put some noise machines on in the last couple weeks um, because sleep is vital here. I have a 13-year-old, an 11-year-old, and an 8-year-old. And hoping she gets some answers soon. I'm frustrated with the T for not communicating about the horn. But I'm more frustrated with Waltham for not complying. Well, the FRA tells me an example of a safety improvement would be adding additional crossing gates. The MBTA said they have no role in this and that it's between individual communities and the FRA. The city of Waltham refused our request for an interview, but in an email they told us the city is planning an emergency meeting once they get more direction from the FRA. Liam. Wow, what a story, Brianna. And since 2008, they've known they weren't in compliance. They've had a lot of time to fix this. Come on.